today I'll be going through 1.20 and negative integral in recess. The main bulk of this chapter 1.2 will be this two rules. Okay, so you need to know that I believe in set one you may have came across you may have come across this already. So if it's power zero, then it's actually essentially equals to one. And if it's a negative power, so what it means is you'll take reciprocal, it'll be one over a to the power of n. Okay, so I'm just gonna try out a few questions here. Evaluate the following with our calculator. So let's look at, let's see, hmm, maybe we can try 5a first. Okay, so for 5a, this 11 to the power of 0, anything to the power of 0 will be 1. So 1 minus 3 to the power of negative 2. I will always settle this negative first. So if you want to get rid of this negative power, you just need to put 1 over, and then 3 to the power of 2. So this will simplify to 1 minus 1 over 9, and then you will get 8 over 9. Okay, uh, I think 5b is easy. Let's look at 5c. Okay, for 5c, what I will do is, let's settle this first, okay? So we'll settle what is in the bracket first. So what you have is 1 over 2 to the power of 9 to the power of 5, right? Divide by... Okay, so this power is outside. What you can do is you can just multiply this in. So I can have 2 to the power of 6 times negative 7 will be negative 42. Okay, so it's up to you how you want to do it. You can settle. So what you can do is you can either put 1 over, you settle the negative power first as in this, or you can multiply the two powers first. Okay, but essentially it's the same. So what I will get is Okay, let me put my equal sign here. Not very obvious, ah. Okay. So what you will get is 1 to the power of 5, which is still 1. 2 to the power of 9 times 5. 45. Divide by 1 over 2 to the power of 42. And because it's division, so you take reciprocal Take reciprocal again times 2 to the power of 42. Okay. And then this is actually 2 to the power of 42. Okay. Sorry, ah. Uh, got eraser now. Okay, here, there's an eraser. Okay. Erase. Over 12.45. So you have 2 to the power of. Okay, so technically this whole thing you can divide away. Then you are left with 3. So, okay, if it's positive power, if you live in positive index, then it's this. Usually the question will ask you to express the answer in positive index notation, which you leave it as this. If not, you can also write this. Okay, this is negative index notation. Right? Or another way will be, another way is you can just, from here, this is 2 to the power of negative 45. Divide by 2 to the power of negative 42. Sorry, never 2. So this is equals to, because it's divide, right? So power you minus, so 45 minus away, negative 42 equals to, so minus minus means plus, so negative 3. You will still get the same answer. Okay, but if you do this way, then you got to be mindful of whether you need to live in positive index or not. Whereas if you do this way, naturally it will lead you to a positive index notation first. Okay, so for part D, if it's negative, uh, actually it's the same. Lah. So it's just 1 over 7 over 6 to the power of 1. So I'm, actually, you don't need to write because 12, 
you can ignore this power. Okay, usually we don't write power 1. So you just put 1 over the whole, whole fraction. Okay, once you see negative, you just put 1 over on top. Okay, and then what this means is actually uh, it's just a flip. So I know I'll get 6 over 7. But how do I get 6 over 7? What this means is this is 1 divided by 7 over 6, which is equals to 1 times 6 over 7. So you get 6 over 7. Okay, so essentially next time if you see a power negative 1, it will just be flip the fraction around. Okay, so for example, if I have 3 to the power negative 1, then I'll just flip the fraction around. What do I mean by flipping the fraction around? So 3 is just 3 over 1, right? So you flip it around, you just get 1 third. Okay, so if you see negative 1 power, it's easy, you just flip everything around. Take reciprocal. Okay, so that is try it 5. Now let's look at try it 6. Simplify the following and express your answer in positive index notation. Okay, so this is the part where you need to take notes because you are required to express in positive index notation. That means at the end, I shouldn't see any negative power. Everything should be in positive. So let's try, okay, maybe A is a bit simple. Let's try B first. Okay. So actually the two bracket is just to confuse you. Otherwise, it's just multiplication. Everything is multiplication, multiplication, multiplication. So you can ignore the bracket because there's no plus or minus here. So p to the power of 6 times q to the power of negative 2 times p to the power of negative 6 times q to the power of negative 3. Okay, so if it's multiplication, the order doesn't matter. We can rearrange times p to the power of negative 6 times q to the power of negative 2 times q to the power of negative 3. Right? So if it's times, means power add together, uh, so plus negative 6, right? The power 6 plus negative 6 times q negative 2 plus negative 3. So 6 plus negative 6, 0, times q negative 2 minus 3, negative 5. So I have 1 times q to the power negative 5. But you must live in index notation, uh, positive index notation, so this I will get q to the power negative 5, which is 1 over q to the power 5. Okay, so I get positive index notation. Okay, now let's try C. For C, it's the same thing as I mentioned in the previous video, no matter how many a variable or coefficient they give you, you just settle it one by one. Okay, so I will settle, I can settle the coefficient first. So 5 divided by 15, I know that is one third. x to the power negative 4 divided by x to the power negative 3 means it's a minus, right? So divide means minus. Minus to the power negative 3. y to the power of 8 divided by y to the power of 6, so minus 6. Okay, so I have one third x to the power of negative 4 minus negative 3 means plus 3, so negative 1. y to the power of 8 minus 6 means 2. Okay, so the only one that is not positive will be this x. So I can write it as one third x is 1 over x. Take reciprocal. Lah. Remember just now I say if it's ne power negative 1, you just take reciprocal. Okay, just put a 1 over y square. Okay, it's very ugly to leave it like that, so let's make it more elegant. y square will be in the numerator. These two are in the denominator, 3x. So, I can leave my answer as this.